LHA stands for London Hostels Association. Uh, the company, or well, the charity, was founded by the government in 1940. Lots of people were being made uh, homeless as a result of the blitz and the bombings. So the company, the organisation, was set up to provide accommodation for Londoners who had been made homeless as a result of the bombings. So we roll forward now to 2012 and we have approximately 2,000 residents in 17 buildings and they're predominantly overseas students, 80-90% are European, lots of French, Spanish and Italians. Um, but there's an increasing mix of young working people. Generally we find that people will graduate from their courses and then choose to stay in London for another couple of years to further develop their, their power with the English language uh, whilst they're working. So the internet is becoming increasingly important to these guys, not just from a studying perspective, but from a home working environment, or even from uh, researching for jobs and producing CVs and preparation for interviews. We're offering a Cablecom internet broadband to our resident. Uh, it's been with us now for like a year or so, and um, ever since, I mean, it's been, it's been great. Uh, before that, we used to have only a Wi-Fi, which is was like not that reliable. Cuts, it's pretty slow. But ever since that well, Cablecom came into the picture, I mean, it's been like a night and day for us as, as managers and uh, for, my, for my resident, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. The project for the LHA being a charity was a, a major financial investment. So we really had to look at a number of parties, go to tender, go through the whole due diligence process to make sure we found that right person for that, that financial capital spent. And what we found was Cablecom's offer was entirely compelling. Lots of people can provide bandwidth, lots of people can provide the TV piece. I think the, the aspect that really stood Cablecom aside from the rest was the, the help desk function. The fact it's available and their, their, their staff on the help desk have the familiarity with dealing with overseas students of which it's 80-90% of our population here. It really gave Cablecom the advantage when we came to the boardroom decision. It's not uh, within our business model to close a building for refurbishment, so all of the cabling had to be done with guests in rooms. It was organised in such a way that notice was given two or three weeks in advance. The, the noisy aspects of drilling was kept to tight time schedules, so the, the cabling was provided with residents in room without any real complaints at all. I connect in internet uh, every day, a lot of time uh, after my uh, school or after my work. I speak uh, every week uh, with my family in France and with my girlfriend from Costa Rica. So I use Skype. And also internet, the connection is good. I don't have any problem for, with the video. After using a, a wireless system for nearly six years, we took the strategic decision not just to catch up with the competition, but to really to leapfrog them. Uh, practically how we run the buildings is there's a, a Cat5 socket in every room and then there's wireless in the common areas. So by that I mean the TV rooms, the study lounges, the refectories, that sort of thing. We use intranet sites in each of the buildings to really canvas opinion on various ideas and concepts. Uh, if we look to introduce a gym or a new games room, that sort of thing, we'll use the intranet to do that. So we used a similar market research piece just to canvas what people thought of the Cablecom experience. And the questions we were asking were, do you think it's faster? Is it much, much faster, slightly faster, the same as before. Do you use the TV service? Have you chosen to upgrade to the faster packages or the extra channels? In the three months that we ran the market research, we got something like 750 responses, which is pretty much 50% of our long-term accommodation. And in terms of the speed, it was nine or 10 out of 10. Absolutely justified the decision we made, the perfect response. It's uh, the most important thing, I think, for now, because, for example, if I want to study, I need to search for some materials. Uh, it's quite hard to go to library, because it's sometimes very far. Uh, so it's easier just to log on your computer, uh, use the internet, Google search, and uh, I have all the materials I need for my studies and for my projects. And also, of course, socializing, Facebook and um, Skype, very important as well. The TV service is completely uninterrupted. If you click on a channel and it's a three hour movie, you're not gonna see any drop in the service. If it's Titanic, you watch the whole thing with no jitter, there's no lag. It's just like having a, a physical TV set in your room. Well, it has improved uh, a lot, the service, because um, number one, you have the cable connection, so it's available to every single person for their own laptop and um, it's really reliable. It hardly ever um, drops and um, people are really happy. 
I think another major advantage that Cablecom have, and again a, a major driver why we've looked to use their services, is it's very much an evolving product. The portal continues to change, there's additional services for gaming and backup and music sharing. It's very easy to become complacent that you've just got the fast internet to keep that competitive edge with our competition, to have those value-add services added to the Cablecom product on a regular basis is definitely a major bonus for us. You just have to, to get a cable connecting the wall and then in your laptop or the PC and then start to use it, it's so easy. And if you use wireless, you go, for example, downstairs to study in the library and you get the wireless so easy. Oh, obviously, I, I want the server which is actually fast and quick, so something which is reliable. And Cablecom is actually good for this. And yeah, because before we used to have this previous Wi-Fi, it was actually really slow. Oh, the speed is awesome, actually. Um, and uh, I never get disconnected for, as in some other places where I've been. Once it, all the system fall, so we didn't have internet in all the hostel. I gave them a call and in a few minutes everything was fixed. I think the important thing though is that we've been able to canvas different types of business now. It's been the business model for the NHA for some time to target individuals. We're now able to approach universities and college and ask them to uh, purchase blocks of rooms from ourselves and using the Cablecom product as a driver, as an influence to do that, is certainly helping us to keep the beds full outside of the academic calendar. I think you can measure our happiness in the product by the fact we've now put our production corporate office network onto the same backbone. The managed service is essential to us. Uh, the issues aren't conveniently nine to five, they're going to be evenings and increasingly on weekends, and I can go home on a Friday happy knowing that the network is in safe hands with the Cablecom help desk and my residents can always reach out and get help if they need it.